from there. Yeah. Oh, stuff. Um, I mean, I wouldn't say now that I got the interceptions like a player deserve, but that came, you know, first week of preseason, just uh, the first drive for me. Um, honestly, it came during camp. That's, a, that's probably, like, the biggest as far as, like, a lot of playbook coming thrown at you and be able to manage that, still be a leader as a, as a young guy or trying to anyway. Uh, I think that's when I start to hold in. So now with the games, I'm just trying to, you know, um, play as, as well as I can as a young guy and fly around and basically, you know, Hold myself accountable for the for the guys that's around me, and um, set a good example for the young guys that also follow me, and then making the guys above me proud, as well as coaches and things of that nature. So. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But like I said, camp is where I think that kind of. Uh, really like honing in on everything, started to smooth out for me. Um, OTAs was a bit of a struggle, I would say, um, for my eyes personally. Um, but I think camp was what really, really helped me a lot. You know, day in and day out, uh, I learned a whole playbook. And he would just randomly call different plays from different installs. So I think that was a big part. And then, you know, with the safeties making a lot of checks, it forced me to do that. And then as well as him putting me in different positions, having to learn all that, all that aspect. So just constantly like having the, the uh, the good struggle, if you will, um, helps me a lot with that aspect. So, yeah, it's pretty smooth right now. Does it, does it help or hurt to have so many young guys on the defense? Because on the one hand, you don't have guys, young guys need you. There's so many young guys need you guys. You don't have guys you can always go to that plus you. But at the same time, you guys are kind of at the same level, learning together, growing together. So how do you see it? Um, well, I'm going to be – it depends on how you look at it, honestly. You know, how you look at anything is where, like, if you look at something long enough or you have your own perspective about it, it would change based on how you look at it. So how I look at it is the positive. I don't try to look at the negatives because, you know, at the end of the day, we're flying around, we're having fun. Um, we learn each other. It was chemistry. That comes with any other team. Um, I think that's a big part. But the positive is there. The effort is there. The love for one another is there. And, like, the accountability is there. So with those things, you know, adding together, I don't feel like there's no, like, Oh, it's a downfall. Um, you make mistakes, things happen. You know, it's any given Sunday, things like, like that kind of happen. But as far as the whole aspect, like, I just look at all the positives, and there's a lot of positives with this group. I'm looking forward to seeing it, it all develop. Brian, you've got a long relationship with Mm-hmm. What do you do to stay sharp? Stay sharp as far as, like, football or for just in general? Oh, I'm saying you got to ask. Let me show. Football, you know, just literally just watching film. I mean, it's, it's on your tablet. It's kind of like this. That's a... The easiest part, but I did that back in um, college too. So to be able to watch games whenever I want to, uh, make my own calls um, based on you know he has installs. I can just you know basically go into games and just watch how different plays and um, see how this play might plan out. And then if I have some question, I can bring up the coach. But for us, like that'd be a big aspect of me. And then obviously recovering. Um, I know to, like this past preseason, I played a lot of snaps, but. And at the end of the day, though, you got to be able to, you know what I'm saying, recover from week to week. So I think that is be a big aspect for me, too. But besides those two, like, I'm just going to be chilling. <laughs> Brian, you uh, obviously played a lot of snaps. Mm -hmm. You've been a guy in a long time. 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 You've been
Um, I think I want him to understand, like, I have your back, bro. Like, it, yeah, I, I, I know you, you probably feel down about yourself, but trust me, like, you're, you're good. It's next play, we got it. We're going to figure it out. I'm going to be here with you, you know, next step and for how long you want to walk. So I think that was probably the, the message in brief, because it was a few times I had to talk to him, but it wasn't nothing major. Just make sure that he know that I'm, I'm here for him and that we're going to keep this thing rolling. Brian, you guys, the interception looked like a really good read on that play. Mm -hmm. Um, well, first and foremost, I mean, the quarterback, that was probably the, the biggest key he got the ball. But um, seeing how the routes develop and then knowing where, uh, well, how, like, how the routes develop, I would say, and then knowing who had what in our coverage, um, I was able to make a play and able to jump it. Um, and then knowing that I had a guy, uh, Zane, underneath, so he had to force to throw the ball over the top. So I'm like, all right, well, either team's going to happen, either I'm going to get the pick. <laughs> Gonna be you know underneath and it's gonna hit him in the back. So I was able to get over there in time and you know get the pick. I was just you know lucky enough to get that. But just it was just nothing like too extravagant. I just kind of reacted to it. But it was one of those plays. I made it to practice too, so it's kind of like ironic. Yeah. How did feel about the ball in your hands? Feel great. Yeah, it feel great. Yeah, <laughs> it feel great. I should have cut back, but I was like, ah, I don't know. I'm gonna, try, I'm gonna try to score next time, but it was just more of a you know things like that. And, um, but it definitely feel good to have a ball in my hands, so, you know, especially because back then I used to play like receiver in high school, so feel good to have it once in your hands again. How does it feel playing up high versus playing in the box? Is there a certain type of different feel as you get in the status system? Uh, I would say based on what the offense is doing, I would definitely say that I like to be around the ball as much as I can. Um, so that way, like, if something happens, I can, like, um, make an impact as fast as possible. Um, not, not being self, that's more be like my impact could be coming from getting a, a D lineman off a double team, something like that. It's very simple, but it's very pivotal, you know, pivot to what you're trying to get done. So I think being able to do that for the D lineman is very key, as well as in terms of plays when it's, you know, deep coverages, being able to be underneath some routes for the deeper players or be on top, knowing that someone has to be more aggressive. So all the, it really depends on what the offense is giving us at the time. But me being able to play in different positions with his defense, I think that helps me kind of like navigate certain aspects of what's coming and knowing like where I'm on the field and what I can help with and what I, like, what I know is like not mine to deal with and what I can help with at the end of the day. Are you still waiting to get that big hit? You still haven't kind of gotten that. Oh, no. Nah, well, you know, I'm not worried about that. You know, just, you know what I'm saying? Like, Y'all y'all know what kind of player I am. <laughs> Not worried about that. I think the biggest thing right now is just making sure everybody's on the same page. Cause like I said, even with the pick, like it, it, I didn't go out there and fiending for it. It was just something that kinda happened. So I know like the big hits will come. I know all the things will come in due time. But as long as I can be the best player I can be and help the team get dubs, that's all that matters to me. All right, you talked about you talked about embracing your parents. Yeah. How much of the preseason? All of it. And that comes from leaving camp. Camp's long. It's tiring. It's hot. But embrace it. Because at the end of the day, like, at one point in time, I was a little kid wishing to be in your shoes. So being grateful each and every day, knowing you store, knowing things like that, it starts with that. And um, having the, the, the self-discipline to keep showing up and keep putting your best foot forward and knowing that it's okay to make mistakes. Like, I mean, I'm not saying it's okay because I'm very hard on myself. But at the same time, I have to be able to understand, like I told Josh, Next play, next play, next play. Be be courteous with myself in, in that aspect. And I know like a lot of coaches, a lot of players try to like um, tend to calm down certain aspects. I'm so I'm very very hard on myself. I want everybody to make sure that I, mean, I, I want everybody to make sure I'll be on the same page, things like that. But I think as far as like the process, it's been a blessing. Um, I'm definitely embracing it. I would say. Um, and then as far as look, looking forward to, like I said, each and every day just building building those blocks. That's all I can do. You can't, you know, you don't. You didn't build my Everest and over, or you don't climb my Everest, I'm sorry, overnight. It takes, takes time. So just keep chipping away, keep stabbing at it, keep moving forward. Thank you. No problem. Appreciate it.